Hello, welcome to Never Unboxing. This time it's a pure digital dab radio, which also is FM. This is the one Maxi, which is the stereo version. That looks rather nice. £99 for the black version, or charcoal, or whatever they call it, and £49 for this one. So um, I usually like the darker colours, but £49. Now, the reason I've got this, I know you've probably already seen I've done a radio, dab radio uh, review, is this one takes a battery pack, and I like one to take around when I'm doing the gardening outside, and um, just, just to be portable, so I can take anywhere. So, um, the one that I used to have, which was a Roberts, with, um, you had a little uh, solar panel on top, which never really charged the batteries. It's been fine for years, but it's just, it's just had it, so uh, here's the replacement. Dual speakers with adjustable bass and treble, for superior sound. Takes an optional charge pack D1 rechargeable battery pack or six AA batteries for portable listening. Check the time or station at a glance with large, easy to read display. Save up to 20 presets for quick access to your favorite stations. Auxiliary in socket for listening to music from your mobile or tablet. So no Wi-Fi or anything with this one. Two alarms, you set different workday and weekend times. Convenient sleep and kitchen countdown timers, stereo headphone socket. So it's more basic, but I want more basic. I just want a radio to be a radio. I don't need all those extra things. So let's have a look and uh, see what we get in here. First of all, how do I get in? It seems... Ah, okay, that way. I got it. Ah, recyclable stuff. So let's get everything out of the box, see what we got. We've done the box. So it's, um, you can put this into your compost, breaks down. Bottom here. We have a transformer with European, at least I think that's European, and UK versions. Good. Where does it go? That way, I would think. No, that way? Oh no, it's that way. Looks like it's maybe that way, doesn't it? But no, there's only one way around you can put it. So the charger is 100 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz and it draws 0.5 of an amp. The output is 5.5 volts at 2000 milliamps, two amps. And it has a, oh, it's one of the small USB ones. I don't know if that's a C or a B, I can't think which one it is. Might say the instructions. And it looks like you get a decent length of cable, which is always a plus with a radio. The, long, the longer the better. Just unravel that. I just roughly measure that out against my arm. One, or oh, good two meters. Could even be two and a half meters there. That's good. At least two meters on that cable. So that's good. I tell you, what, it looks a bit different from it, doesn't it? And the pictures online, it looks very thin. But here in the flesh, it's quite fat. Mind you, that's going to help with sand quality, I would imagine. There you 
Okay, three year warranty, mains or optional charge pack. I was wondering whether it would work with um, rechargeable batteries, but I've, I've got the feeling that you'd have to take them out and recharge them, so you've sort of got to buy their, their pack, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, so this, this now I've seen it in the flesh, as it were, is uh, much bigger. In fact, a lot of the comments on Amazon say it's bigger than you think it is. But it, for me, it's not It's not the size. I, I thought it would be this sort of size. It's, um, it doesn't look quite like it does in the picture. It looked much more sleek and slim, and it's quite quite a, a wide unit, actually. It is. It's seven centimetres width. And I'll just tell you how long it is. It's about 26 centimetres long, something like that. It's quite a big one. Looks like the sort of thing you'd have in the kitchen, doesn't it? It's got nice anti-slip feet there. It's got a OLED display, I think it's an OLED display by the look of things. And I can't quite work out if it's got a cover. Yes, it's got a yeah, it's got a cover. I can see it now. There it is. Nice. So I'm guessing that's to select the stations. We'll find out in just a moment. It's got a rather nice sort of um, bronze, I would call it, maybe finish to uh, the metal parts. Easily stowable antenna or aerial. So there we are, DC two amps in, 5.5 auxiliary in, and there's your headphones. So those sockets, that's your lot on this one. And here, make your product fully portable with a rechargeable battery pack. Oh, I see there's actually a printed circuit board stuck out, specially for the, uh, for the pack. So the batteries go over the top, one, two, three, four, five, six batteries go over the top, like so, of this hole. And the battery pack goes underneath that. So potentially then, depending on the battery pack size, you could have both. In case, you, in case you're in a dire emergency and your battery pack went down, I don't know. Anyway, I bought the battery pack, so we'll, we'll look into that in the moment. Actually, let's do it now. Let's do it now. There's our battery pack. I hope I got the right one. But this was about 38 quid. That was, that was 49 and this was 38. I think it was 38. Mind you, I guess six good quality rechargeable batteries would probably cost that, wouldn't they? It's in one of these really not easy to get anything out of type of uh, packages. Is the pack. Oh, it's got the lumps on it. Some sort of cooling. Not that big and not that heavy really. It is lithium ion 3.7 volts which is strange because obviously we've got three, six, nine volts on non-rechargeable. Uh, 4,400 milliamp hours. Mm, there we are, that's quite, quite a big uh, bit of amperage. So, feeling it, I reckon that is lighter than having uh, the normal batteries in. So how does this go in? By the look of it, I think that bit slots in there. Yep, and there's a slot there for each side. 
And you can see there's this, this uh, printed circuit board and there are two slots so that you can't make a mistake and it goes into there, into that slot and into these runners go on the side. So you can't make a mistake with that. Oh, there we are. Nope, so one or the other. So it actually comes out to cover there to stop using the uh, normal batteries. So that's a fit and forget type option there. Okay. It's got a, I'd say, slightly rubberized finished. Slightly rubberized. It's got some sort of drag when you go. It's not shiny, shiny, smooth plastic. It's got some resistance to it. I prefer it like that. I'd have preferred a dark one, to be honest, but you know, there we are. A little run of nice buttons on top. So you've got your first one, two, three, four, five, and then a plus sign on there. Source, select up and down, menu, on and off. Uh, oh, oh, okay. There is some juice in the battery. It's just going on a scan, so I'll quickly put up the, uh, the aerial. Wow, it picked the time up pretty damn quick. So that is the time right now. Let's pick that up straight away. Scan, scan, 17. That's quite a nice display. It's nice and sharp. I mean, it could be LCD, it could be OLED, it's hard to tell. Seventy-five, eighty-five. Is that stations? Oh, here we go. Tuning. The decades. That was the sixties, and now the seventies. Absolute radio. The Indian signals. Oh, push to mute on on the side the there. The cool for cats. They're playing. I'll probably get a copyright strike now. So let's go. Oh, it comes up. The track comes up. Squeeze. Squeeze call for cats. How about that? Playing. That's nice. It's easier than some of the LCD displays where it like clunks through. That's not too bad. But that does look like LCD because OLED has that nice scroll that's as smooth as anything. So. This looks like probably is backlit LCD, but it does look rather nice. It's quite, quite a nice sharp display. So let's see. Uh, we can go FM, auxiliary, digital, FM. There we go. So it's just volume on the side there and mute. Mute and volume on the side only. So this is where you find your stations. Better mute that. All right, let's keep going with that. I put it on to something like um, sort of just talking on. So I want to hear what the voice is sound like. So uh, let's go for oh LBC. Did I just see that. There we go. Let's go for that. Back up to 71. <gasps> Ooh, and sunny in most parts. Whereas in uh, Glasgow, it will be uh, cloudy tonight, cloudy tomorrow, cloudy on Sunday, and raining on Monday. And cloudy so on if I want to put that Wednesday, in the preset, Thursday, normally what you do is you just hold it. So let's just give that a go and see if it would do this. Yeah, preset one stored. There we go. So that's nice and easy to use. Let's just see what the uh, menu brings us. Brings us an alarm, timer, sleep, clock, audio, okay, display, settings, auto tune, okay, it's so all the same. So let's just go into audio a moment. So we can make the treble or the bass or boost, auxiliary level, wide sound, treble, okay, so we can make the sound wider. I'll try that. This could be mono though, this station. 
and let's put beast on autumnal autumnal southern areas may see above average temperatures at times that's quite that's quite a nice um that's quite a nice tone that's okay easy to use see i didn't even need to go into the instructions it was so nice that's what i like is something you can just pick up and use it's nice and easy so you just hold it down for your preset that's easy uh, five plus it get a bit more complicated you have to push that and then another number i would imagine so preset two empty three four That's recall it's working on five plus. Okay, so let's have a little look. So um, as far as spoken word goes, that 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 putting on wide and putting that boost on sort of uh, woke it up a little bit, made it made it a little bit nicer sounding, a bit more um less digital sounding, let's say. So this came with the battery pack just shows you how to put it in because it's not just for this radio it's for a few different ones and it's just telling you there there's all the warmth in english about what to do don't really need to read that so what else have we got here register now for additional benefits Free access to internet radio with Pure Connect. Product updates. Right, okay, don't bother with that. Ah, oh, something about electrical safety. And we have, here we have, a open out explanations just show you you may wish to pause and have a look at that but I think it is fairly straightforward I think the only thing I'll have to look up is how to put a uh, more than um, uh, five presets how to go beyond five uh, switch auxiliaries switch change radio stations Oh, it's in all different languages here. Oh, hang on, that's not. Oh, I see. It's in all different languages. All all the different languages are together. So presets one to four, you just push buttons one to four, then store, and then one to four select presets five to ten. You push the five, and then this one over here. So just like when you're changing the audio and things like that, you go five and then you use that to go through. There we are, and it says it there. How to set the clock, and there that should sort itself out. Cancel alarm, auto-tune, settings. But you see when I turned it on, it auto-tuned itself. It did it really quickly as well. Um, there we are, so there's not much more to say about that, other than sounds all right, actually. But as with anything new, you've got to wait for those speakers to run in a bit. So it will sound better after, let's say, a hundred, between a hundred and two hundred hours, let everything free up, let just everything wear in. And um, quite often you'll find that the battery will sound better than the mains, because these are very noisy, these switch mode power supplies. It will have suppression in it and things, but it depends on the time of day. And if you use like baby monitors and you know internet through the mains and all things, I mean your neighbours could use and it could pollute your own mains. It can change things, and there's also airborne stuff. Wi-Fi it might affect the signal, or whatever. But um, I usually find that the battery does sound better, so it's quite worth having the battery pack, even if you're not intending to take it out and about with you, because it may sound better. But for a spoken word, there that sounded pretty good. Seemed. Put the boost on the wide and then that, that sounded a lot better. 
So don't just turn it on and use it straight out of the box, just go for those settings and have a mess around. There's also bass and treble there. So on my other ones, you normally do that and that selects the station. So on this one it's these. So this is purely volume and mute, which is kind of nice. I'll get used to that pretty quickly. Stations and there we go. So that was the Pure Maxi. One Maxi from the Series 3S stereo version with the battery pack which costs nearly as much as the radio. <laughs> so there we are, I've got a new radio for outside and to use around the house wherever. Thanks very much for watching, see you again next time. Thank <laughs> you.